Hi, I'm Lindy Witten. Welcome back to my studio. So I've set up my box of pastels here, the Mungyo Gallery Handmade Pastels. I've just got out at the moment the, the red, orange, sort of yellow, purpley box. I'm going to start with those. Over here I have the prepared alcohol ink underpainting on a Yupo paper with the pastel primer over the top. And I'm going to use the soft pastels now just to work into this with an abstract background like this I'm seeing a floral sort of thing so I actually think I might start with the background first so I want my green boxes so I'm going to start with the background I'm just going to work into it with some greens um, and I go on really well over this uh, primer that I've put on so just working into it I'm, I'm taking off the papers because these are new pastels and I haven't yet use them very much so a lot of them don't have their papers off but that's one of the first things I do with pastels is as I use new sets new sticks I'll take the the papers off so there's a lot of greens in this and I'm just going to be playing with a few of them I want some bright colors in there too so I've got some quite bright yellows that'll be forming part of the background to give me some really nice contrast with the reds there and I'm following to some extent the, the colours I used in the underpainting, but we'll just see how that goes. And I, I just want this to be quite loose. Uh, I'm going to put in some deeper colours as well, so coming back into some deeper greens there. The Mungyo Gallery Set. Mungyo Gallery Set has, let's move it across, a really nice range of greens. A lot of greens and some quite useful greens, and greens are quite difficult to get in pastels. Uh, well, difficult for me to find the ones I like, so, so it's quite good having a little experimental session here with the greens out of my new box. I'm going to try and keep these corners here a little bit darker so that the focus is in on the flowers there. So I'll put in some darker greens out on the edge. I'm going in this corner. Maybe even up into there. And I, I can't, don't need to restrict myself to greens. I can add in a little bit of uh, some blues there if I want to as well, just to mix it up a bit in the background and some of the very light sort of yellow greens are going in as well as the straight yellow so there's a sort of a, a yellow green in fact called greenish lemon which describes it really well so just some little touches around in these areas too you can see it picks up the texture of that um, grit really well. When you buy pre-gritted papers, they're very uniform texture. And I quite like making my own because you get a, a different sort of texture. The yellow, this lemony green looks really good against the purples there and the violet. So I'm just bringing it in closer. So it gives a bit of a complementary zing there. I might take it in around this part of the flower up here and re-establish the flower over the top of it. So I'm getting a quite nice um, interplay there of, of colours and shapes. I'm going to go back into here and add in some of this one. And I think I may put that darker tealy sort of Oh, in there. I quite like that. And I'm going to use that a little bit in some other places as well. It provides a little bit of uh, different dimension to all those greens I'm using to put the teal sort of colour in. 
so now now I've got the background going I've got some nice mixes of colors going on I'll start working on the flowers I can come back into here if I want to I can smooth this out a bit but I quite like it rough I may in fact smooth out some of the background if I want to smooth it I'm just going with my finger and give it a little gentle rub all the way around like that so that you get a more blurred look to the background and the flowers will stand out a bit more so I probably will do that even though I was liking the I think I'll give it a bit of a blur up and then I might go and put a few more of those less blurred areas in it does just give you that look of that you can get when you're the focus is here and the background's a little bit more blurred okay moving on to these flowers now so I can get into the the deeper richer colors from my set over here and I've, there are just lovely range of those Pur pinky purple colours, so just going in and, and just trying to establish here I'm going for a ruffled edge of a flower by just taking a small running the pastel in a small bit so I could pick out some more like that with some different colours so that one I often just leave them sitting up you can see there how it's in there so I know which ones I've used and I can come back now that one I'm going to put a deeper purple in the middle so I'll go for this one. I don't have to cover all of that ink underpainting and I'm just running this up into the very linear strokes and running it up into the pink part there to start forming the idea of a flower and then I'm going to go for a much deeper purple in the middle quite dark purple and run it again up into there give a suggestion of a flower. I need to put some uh, deeper colours behind it to help with uh, making it stand out so I'm going to now look for a richer colour. Let's try that one. This is a more red than pink. Coming around with that quite a nice ready area here so I'll start making a flower in there I'm just trying to be guided by what I see on the paper I want a very deep very deep one there so I, as I said these are new so I'm not really sure what I've got till I start using them and how they'll look on the paper this one's more browny red I'm not so keen on that but that's okay because I can go over that and make it I think I'll take out my pink that I use next door and just add a bit of that in to here this is a beautiful deep purple there so let's try a purple and then make sort of a ruffle around the edges there With the purple and put a more I'm going to go with a bluey sort of purple, a grayed off bluey purple colour in the the center of that one and I might add in some yellow in the center of that one <coughs> and down here as well give them some little yellow centers One, I'm just going to give a little touch of a twinkle around the edge and I'm going to leave some of that alcohol ink showing through there. I'll probably end up taking some of the greens in behind here a bit more. Um, we'll see how that goes. It's, 
very exuberant colours. So putting some of those in. I might add a bit of that red down here around this flower. And within those flowers themselves, I do need to have some. Some sort of shadows and changes in value so I'm just adding that in there now reinforcing that one Because I have no reference photo, I'm just making this up and making up the idea of the flowers as well. So they're, um, this one's going to get a bit more of a blue in it. And I'll maybe add a bit of that blue into there. They reminded me a bit of asters some way. Uh, up here it's quite dark again so I'm working in with the blues. Put more of the blues down here. wrong move so I'll just correct that. And it's going on extremely well over this um this paper. Now the question is how exuberant do I get? I was thinking maybe that one might get a little bit of orange into it. Just there. This looks a little bit orange down here too, so that might get a little bit. Of... And I'm just going to keep working my way through these pastels and see what happens. They look brighter in the box than they are when you put them on the paper and I think that's because the Yupo uh, and alcohol background is so vibrant and, and you think the pastels are going to be as vibrant but they're not. And that's okay, I don't mind that. It's all about just playing and seeing what 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 the flowers are doing here. I like that little area I just did then, so maybe I'll do a few more little looser edged ones. Just pop them amongst the whole. in amongst all the rest of them. That's not working very well, that section there. <coughs> um, maybe what I'll do is actually go in with something lighter. And maybe not, not make that flower so big. That might work better. Just so I'm getting a real variety uh, and, and introduce some of these other colours that I'm using into some of the other areas of the flowers. You want to make a, a pleasing pattern as well. Um, and I'm not sure that that's pleasing, so I'm probably going to go in with some more 
you know, bring in a, a, a touch of some of the the greens in amongst the flowers as well. So try and get a little bit more dynamism going on and get sort of a pathway coming through a little bit more. I like that better already. Might even be a little bit coming around this way too. So that there's a, a bit of a sweeping pathway around there. I like that better. It might have a little bit coming in through here as well. few touches of the greens coming through. I don't know, that might, I might have lightened that up too much. I might make that a bit darker. So I'll go back in with some of my darker greens here. Just to try and keep it A little bit of a difference between the values that will make it a bit more interesting. Reintroduce some of that tealy colour in there so that the greens are different. And those teals go quite well with the, the orangey colours there. I don't actually want all the greens in here to be the lemony sort of green, so we'll mix that up a bit. So remember I smoothed that all out, now I'm just going in with some more um, leaf-like strokes over the top of that, just to give it some more depth in the background there. And so I can work back and forth in between the, the floral flowers and the, the background there. And I can introduce some deeper colors down here for sort of shaded bits amongst the leaves. Little bits of shadow in there. Because we want the background to have some interest as well as the So I made all this area a little bit darker than than this area so I've got some contrast going on. Just going to darken up this bit here a little bit too. I think I'm going to go back and use that, that green and the teary sort of green there as well. like this effect it's like the sunlight coming through uh, and hitting those flowers up there I just need to uh, do a bit of work on the flowers themselves that one I don't quite like the shape of so I'm going to change that so that's a bit better
and it's just back and forth in now to try and get the try and get the mix of shapes right just need a little bit more um, contrast in some of these so I'll make some more contrasting centers some value shifts there and you can see I'm just taking the same and working it around to bring a bit of unity to it and I might do a few more of the lighter coloured edges to some of these Just giving them a little bit of interest in the centres now. Uh, I think I'm going to go into that one with a bit purple. I might give that one a little more of a edge to it. This one I'm going to give it a bit of a some orange in there and repeat it in a couple of the other ones down here because they're very similar ones. In fact that might get orange instead of yellow with the combo. Oh, what I might do is put another blue one in there. I quite like the blue ones and that'll just break up all those pinks a bit. Uh, with the pale centre. And then some of the orange. actually got any stems you can't see any stems there and maybe this is a bit too maybe I do need to put a little bit more uh, a few more greens in there amongst them so And I don't think there's enough contrast there for the for the um, little 
centers of the flowers so I'm going to go back in with some quite purpley ones there and dot a few of those around this little uh, flower down here I've just left mostly you but I haven't really touched that so there we are a bright colorful uh, impression of flowers in a garden with the sun shining down on them there it's done on uh, alcohol on an alcohol ink wash on Upo paper with the pastel primer over it and then using Mungo gallery handmade pastels hope you enjoyed that demo uh, thanks for joining me in the studio. I'll see you next time.